and succulent. In less than 40 minutes, I have to serve a medieval meal to a king and his court. I'm serving over a dozen dishes, but I haven't even started the desserts or the swordfish. And all we're going to do is pan sear this swordfish and serve it with a citrus salad. A little butter, a little oil, and a lot of smoke. I'm trying to get the natural sugar coming out of it. I want a little caramelization. Did you notice I put a little bit of salt and cracked black pepper on it? That helps form that sear between the pan and the actual fish. So it theoretically should not stick. Nice. See that beautiful color? We need dessert. I just came up with a really super duper idea. I'm going to wrap these edible rose petals around marzipan, which is a sweet almond and sugar paste. And you actually eat it with the marzipan. And I'm going to have David make an almond brittle. So we cook the pure sugar, a little bit of water, lemon juice, two kinds of almonds. Now we lay it out, let it cool, and then we'll crackle it. Since there was no warming boxes in the 16th century, I had to time everything to finish just at the last minute. So I have to get all the dishes out of the fires and into the serving pans. Turkey stuffing and gravy, done. And pheasant, cranberry, and honey, done. Spit roasted rabbit, done. Quail and fig is done. Robert, royalty's on their way. Master Robert! Your Majesty, are you ready for this? I think so. Excellent. I bring you quail. Delightful. <laughs> By St. George. Oh, that looks delightful. Have this we... is venison with mushrooms, my lord. Ah, I hope there's enough left for the rest of you. There is plenty done. of food to follow. Oh, excellent. Well, <laughs> this food, know ye, is delightful. It is, it is suitable for the royal palate. The swordfish is absolutely wondrous. Say, at table, the best thing has to be the venice. It's perfect. perfect. Everything was wondrous. The desserts, all the meats, just the wondrous tastes and flavors. Mm. I like it too. Just when I thought the hardest part of my day was over, there is one final task for you this day. There is a surprise waiting for you at the jousting arena. But apparently, the king thought I should have the full medieval experience. Sir Robert Irvine! Hoorah! I was going to test my strength in a joust. I mounted up, watched my would-be opponent in action, and determine my best course of action. To run away as fast as possible. <laughs> That's done.